welcome back or welcome to my channel if you've never been here before i haven't really been here before but i am doing a video on my natural hair journey so far um kind of from birth until adulthood which i'm almost 25 now which i'm just like how did that happen <laughs> um but i'm basically gonna talk about my hair and show pictures hopefully hopefully the pictures will work on you know when i edit i don't see why they wouldn't whatever <laughs> but basically the first picture that i'm gonna show i think in this picture i'm like five six um i only know i'm that old because i have like a like my what is it called like an elementary school shirt on so in this picture this is basically how my mom did my hair in elementary oh i didn't mention i'm not gonna put my baby photos up like when i was a baby baby just because that's kind of weird like i don't want people on the internet like seeing what i looked like as a baby like as an infant like i don't know kind of weird not here for it but when i was like a baby obviously my mom would just put curl activator whatever baby products they recommend in my hair and then when i became a toddler she would press it out um so i didn't end up having my first relaxer until i was about five and like many people it broke my hair off <laughs> um but i never really like wore my hair out which was probably also part of the problem because i would get relaxers when i had my hair like out and then it would immediately go back into braids pretty much um i would maybe have my relaxed hair out for like a week maybe two weeks i feel like that's really generous and then i would have braids like back in and the reason for that was because i really liked the feeling of like having long hair as a child um, I think part of that has to do with like media, but <laughs> you know, media consumption. But like, I really liked having long hair, and obviously, my hair had been breaking off, so I wasn't really getting that feeling, I guess, by myself. Second reason is because I would play really hard. Um, I was one of those kids who would be doing flips and like running and all that stuff, and obviously, that's not very good for your hair. <sighs> so. <laughs> She would basically braid my hair like you see in the picture, um, which are basically just like straight backs, well, sideways, um, with Kinecolon. So it would be, you know, long, and then she would curl it at the bottom with like prime rods or whatever, or just dip it so that it would stay. Um, and that satisfied me. Um, I pretty much wore my hair like that until I was around like 9 slash 10. Um, when I was at that age, I would start to sort of, I kind of started to do my own hair, but not really. Um, so, how to put it, how to put it, you know, I had gotten like the basics of doing my hair down, so like I knew how to put it in a ponytail and comb it, essentially. <laughs> I didn't know how to straighten it, but I knew how to comb it, basically. Um, so I would do a lot of that, um, and then... I would still have braids quite often just because I didn't want to do that every morning before school or I didn't want to do it in general. Um, so fast forward to when I'm 10. Um, this picture is actually kind of bad just because I took it out of like a china cabinet. <laughs> I don't know what this picture is. But this was 5th grade so I know I was like 10 here or just about to turn 10 whatever however old you are in 5th grade. Um, but you can see here my hair is pretty full um because again this was before i discovered flat irons and like blow drying and doing my own hair that that comes next year <laughs> um but you can see like my hair is pretty thick like you cannot see through it it's decently long like it's definitely like a little bit past my shoulders but the key thing with it is it's completely full like edges full like down to the tip full so yeah and then comes 11th slash 12th grade um so basically the summer i think no 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 6th no. grade i started to like blow dry my hair every morning 
um, just because that was the age when I had started watching like beauty YouTube videos like I was really into like Juicy Star and like stuff like that and it was also like the, the era of people having like straight hair like this was definitely like scene era and I was kind of into it but like I was like oh like I can't tie my hair I don't know how this works blah, blah, blah. so I did the one thing I could do which was straighten the mess out of my hair mind you still getting relaxers so <laughs> I'm blow drying my hair every day not using heat protectant because I don't know what that is because it's like 2008-2009 um, and again just ruining my hair um, so this picture to the I guess it would be your left um, where I have on the cheerleading uniform I'm 11 about to be 12 I believe um, and you can see like the difference like my hair it's still full just because I do have thick hair but it's a lot shorter because it's really unhealthy <laughs> um just because like i said i spent literally every day 6 a.m blow drying my hair um because i didn't really know how to fly under it but i knew how to blow dry it and i was like oh okay if i blow dry it it'll get it straight um because that's all i cared about was having my hair straight um and then the picture to the um because i believe the cheerleading picture was taken over the summer and then the um the second picture is my first day at seventh grade and like again my hair is just like super unhealthy <laughs> and like again i was trying to get it bone straight um but i would wear the headbands just because it would like make the style feel more stable um because it's 2008 like a headband <laughs> um so around when i was 12 that's when i started to like discover natural hair videos and like get more into natural hair stuff um, <laughs> To, to be frank that's when I started to do that um so I started watching people like Atia like I think Atia was like the only person I was really watching um but that's when I discovered heat protectant deep conditioning and I saw the results that people were having and where you know their hair grew really long and I was like oh I would like to do that and so I started being like the primary person to take care of my hair at that point um just because you know I'm like 12 now I, I kind of get it <laughs> Ooh. Um, so I would say 12 aka 2008 slash 2009 because I don't really remember what year it was um, that's where the journey began officially um, I actually don't have any pictures to look at here but <laughs> 14 through 17 I pretty much wore braid skin consistently um, and that was because I learned that they were a protective style um, and just because like my mom knows how to do individual braids so I could just get her to do them um, you know cuz I was obviously a child I didn't have any money so that's what I did and then around like 16 17 like my mom taught me how to actually do my own hair in terms of braiding it and also how to install um, like sew-ins but that comes a bit later but fast forward 17 slash 18 um i was still doing braids but i was like doing variations of braids so like when i was 17 i got really into doing like faux locks um which faux locks take forever <laughs> but i really liked wearing them because it was like really cute and i had found a way to do it and basically make it look natural like people and i would do them super long too i would do them like down to my waist like in certain spots and again too much time to do all of this <laughs> i don't know how i did this um but i would do them and people would be like oh like how long have you had your locks like your locks are so beautiful they're so thick and i would just lie i'd be like yeah i've had them for seven years like you know thank you like <laughs> lying um, and then I also really got into doing like dookie braids as well like on myself but like not super huge but just like bigger than a normal braid but yeah that was that was another look of mine again 17 slash 18 slash 19 I started wearing sew-ins a lot more I think my first sew-in I got well technically my first sew-in I got it when I was 11 but like my mom just really didn't like it I also didn't like the hair because it was synthetic and it was really weird and bobbleheady and cheap so I took it out <laughs> um, and I don't have any pictures from that because it was a bad moment <laughs> um, but around 17 I started wearing you know someone's again like 
realistically wearing them. Um, and so in this picture, this is my high school graduation picture, clearly have a sewing in. Um, this though was very special to me, this particular sewing, because this was when I got um, virgin hair. Like for the first time I ordered it off AliExpress and mind you I didn't have a job so I had to like save up this money and this hair was like $200 so it was like a huge deal to me like you know my my first body wig because I would sit there and I would like literally like sew it in like I didn't know like net anything I was just like okay I know how to braid the hair in the braiding pattern and then sew it in boom <laughs> that's that's all I know how to do um and then I went to college um and I still kind of did the same thing in terms of sew-ins I didn't have as much time to braid my hair fully so sew-ins were like a better option for me because I could keep them in longer and like they would look good at professional events and stuff like that and then also at this point I knew how to straighten like, my leave out correctly correctly <laughs> so I would do that um but when I did have time I would go back to doing like the faux locks and stuff and during all of this like protective styling I would still like do my hair <laughs> um so when I was 16 I more so wore my hair natural but I can't find any photos from that but I would wear it natural and I would like do the milkmaid braids and I would put it in a bun because I had that much hair but I didn't really start to wear wear my hair out until I was like 18 19 like everywhere all the time um, which you can see in this middle photo, that's when I had my hair like natural. Oh, I didn't finish saying though, when I was wearing my protective styles, I would still do my hair. So I would still oil my scalp, moisturize my hair underneath the wig and in the, in the braids and stuff like that. And then when I would take it out, I would condition my hair, but I would do it for like eight hours. Like I would literally put it in my hair on like a Thursday or Friday night, go to sleep, wash it out in the morning. Like <laughs> I was about it. But... I was doing the same thing when I was like 19 but then I was starting to get more into like different styles that you can do with your hair like bantu knots and like braid outs and twist outs so the only thing I really did in high school was braid outs that's all I really knew how to do so it was expanding um, this is kind of a bad picture where I'm looking directly at the camera um, but this was like more when I started to experiment with my look. I got a nose piercing, I got a septum piercing. Um, you can see like my hair is curly. Actually, I think I have a picture from this day, but like in a different angle. I'll put it in. But you can see like my hair's thick, like you can't see through my hair. And then again, I was still braiding and doing full locks, but like I would do different styles. Like so you can see in this, like I was the middle picture, I was starting to do the full locks, like you really look hard but I would like pull two pieces to the front and do like two little buns and it was cute <laughs> like I was experimenting I was like I'm alternative <laughs> anyway I went back to wearing faux locks pretty consistently as well when I was 19 um again still doing them super long and I would try to do them in different styles then I was also experimenting with my makeup so this is just different um, depictions <laughs> of how I used to wear my hair um, with the faux locks. And then funnily enough, this is all from when I used to work at Urban. <laughs> like, like each and every one of these. Um, but I think that's part of why I was doing all this experimentation is because I, again, was working at Urban and I felt like cool and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try different stuff. Like I'm gonna get nose piercings. I'm gonna put white eyeliner and do it really thick and make it look like my eyes are just huge and I'm anime and all this I mean it was it was cute I, f I, I, I feel it but like you know it's kind of weird looking back now but I like it anyway um more faux locks when I was 19 slash 20 like we get it you like faux locks oh no okay this is the picture I was talking about um that I could add from a different angle. So this is the same day as the one where I have on the black scarf. <laughs> um, but you can see like how big my hair is and like that wasn't even like fully stretched out. That was just kind of, mm. but yeah, I had a lot of hair. I still do, but not like that. <laughs> and then I would kind of do like other styles with my natural hair. Like I would put it into a bun and then kind of do my edges. Mm. 
my edge work is questionable, but whatever. <laughs> and then I used to, like I said, I would do like the milkmaid braid and then I would like tuck it in the back. Um, I have mixed feelings about that style now, but ain't nobody asked me that. <laughs> oh my god, we're still doing braids and bones. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> um, I think at this point I'm like 20 or so close. Um, you know, braids, faux locks, natural hair. Bada bing, bada boom. Fast forward a little bit. I got into kinky straight wigs, but like synthetic ones. So I had this synthetic one that I bought for like $20, I believe, from the beauty supply. So this hair was horrible because A, it was synthetic, and B, it was sold on just like straight up wefts. So. <laughs> I literally sat there and like wefted it like I sewed it into my hair because again I didn't really know how to do hair so I didn't know like nets and stuff like that um and it looked okay but like <laughs> it was just terrible hair like it was so tangly um I don't know why I included this picture to the right the left I don't know but I was getting better at doing my edges which I'll but literally in this picture I just have like maybe yeah I just have a bun <laughs> like why is this here anyway anywho um and then when I turned 20 I moved to LA to go to USC and I I just wore braids but I wore them like really long and then I would wear the braids for like a week maybe two weeks and once they started to get like ick looking I would do the faux locks um, I did start to experiment more at this point though because I would get little cuffs. I would get the little gold cuffs and put them in there, which is what you're seeing. Um, <laughs> I also got back into wigs at this point. Um, the picture where I did the cut crease, I have on a wig, but it's like a, um, I think it was like Indian hair or something. And it was like a full closure wig. Oh, it's the same in both the end pictures. Haha. <laughs> Um, the end pictures I have on like an Indian straight wig and this was like my first time dealing with the closure so I was trying to learn how to like you know put the concealer and pluck it and it was stressful it was really stressful <laughs> and like how to make the hairline look realistic um to this day I have not mastered like making my hairline look realistic um but I've mastered a way to get around that away <laughs> Um, and then in this middle photo, I still had that same, like, bad synthetic kinky straight hair in, um, but I had it on a wig this time, and then I had it, like, I had my natural hair just, like, kind of fluffed over it, um, it looked bad, but <laughs> it doesn't look that bad there. 2017, braids, yada yada, um, however, at this point, it's important to know. I didn't take care of my hair as well as as well as I used to because I was busy um, I was taking a bunch of credit hours because I was a transfer and I was trying to graduate on time um, and I was working and I was really stressed out being in a new environment being away from my mom stuff like that blah 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 yada yada so sad <laughs> there's not too many pictures from 2017 it doesn't really matter though but at the end of 2017 I started wearing actual kinky straight hair like I went on Aliexpress and I got me some kinky straight like some real kinky straight and that was easily the best wig I've ever had and I used it <laughs> um so the picture well you can't tell but the picture where I'm kind of like squinting with eyelashes on is um basically my graduation pictures which are not that good but they were really impromptu so makes sense <laughs> but I had that same kinky straight wig that I have worn for pretty much like a year at this point <laughs> and like it still looked good and I'm talking like a year like straight like very rarely not having it on and not having it on was like a week at max like <laughs> just because I had developed a routine a a recipe of getting it on my head I would take it off because I had it I had it basically on like a cap and it had a closure as well. I had it on a cap with a closure and 
I would sew the cap down on my hair and I would just have like my leave out out and then I would be good like I would just have it on you know it's time to wash my hair take it off real fast wash my hair condition my hair wake up in the morning <laughs> sew it right back on straighten out my actual leave out which was basically just my hairline so it looked natural boom and everybody thought that was my hair and I was just like yeah you know <laughs> Every now and then I would like kind of pull it back a little bit because I had like basically this much of my hair out. And I would just be like, yeah, like, this, this is me. <laughs> I also, toward the end of the year, kind of experimented with like a, like, I don't remember what kind of hair this was, but it was like a deep wave and I experimented with it a little bit. I didn't like it though, in retrospect. <laughs> wasn't a fan. I also, so I cut my hair off. <laughs> um, I went to San Francisco in March of 2018, um, which this is all when I was a senior in college. Um, I went to San Francisco in March and I was like sad because I had a boyfriend that lived in Atlanta where I I was before I decided to transfer and it was kind of like okay like you break up with him like I had a lot of emotions during that time and I really felt some sort of way so like I basically had a mental breakdown. I came home from San Francisco at like 4 a.m. in an Uber and I just like went in my room and cut all my hair off. It wasn't bad. 2019, I basically went back to the Kinky Street. Um, the picture of me with the tie-dye shirt on, the cowboy hat, that is a different wig. That was a synthetic like Bobby Boss wig or something. Um, it was pretty cute. It was really long. It was very Naomi Campbell-esque. Um, it just tangled super fast, so I had to get rid of it. <laughs> but it was cute. Like, it was cute for 2019. I think I wore it for like four months. Not straight, but before it just got like ridiculous. Anywho, moon 2020. Um, these are a bunch of pictures of me from 2020. I started to experiment a bit more last year. Um, still got the, the classic kinky straight. Um, but I got like a longer bundle for it and it looked really cute, I think anyway, but it looked really cute, really fun, fresh. This particular hair in this photo was not very good. Um, it's also not the hair that I'm wearing here. Um, this is a whole different kinky straight wig, um, that I need a closure for, <laughs> but it was cute. Like this hair was not good, wouldn't recommend it, but. I got the look done. It, was, it just shed so bad, but it was terrible. In June of 2020, I bleached my hair. I tried to dye it pink and it like ruined my hair. Like it was so bad. <laughs> um, my hair has really gotten a lot healthier since then, but I lost like a lot of length in the process and it's still not completely healthy. So I also bought like a full afro wig, which is a whole moment. I love that. Um, not much to say about that and it looks cute and then I also tried beads in my raids for like the first time ever and I got like Fulani's um they weren't very good but they were like Fulani's um because I did them myself they look very like lived in is the nice way to put it um but it was fun I had a lot of fun because I didn't have to go to work so yeah that is my hair journey at this point, I'm filming this in January, I've still just been wearing this just because it's easy. <laughs> um, but I really want to restart my hair growth journey, I guess. It's the beginning of 2021 right now, and I really want to try to do more kind of out there styles. I feel like everyone and their mom says this, but I'm gonna be consistent. <laughs> that's, that's a bad sign if I'm laughing trying to say it hope you enjoyed it. Alright then, have a great day.